your mind candy mood booster tips for today. Think yourself happy. Think yourself happy. And it can be a very difficult thing, but I really want to start to simplify things because so often, so often we think the mind is such a complex thing. And yes, it can be. However, we need to kind of go back to rewiring ourselves to understanding that it is a lot simpler than we make it out to be. And we're the ones that overcomplicate things. Our mind can only interpret really the visions and the pictures we make for ourselves. And where that comes from, our subconscious, right? Our subconscious mind, so many of the things that have been embedded in us for so long that we almost have to bring to the surface and get out because our brains can't interpret in our thoughts or our picture, like the different things. You can think yourself a certain way and you see yourself a certain way and that's gonna be your truth and reality. So it can come down to a lot of distortions in our minds. We think ourselves one thing and it goes kind of back to self-worth. So how do we think ourselves happy? Really, we have to kind of simplify and really see and understand how we truly see ourselves, how we truly see ourselves, which can be a difficult task, but we're gonna make it a little bit simple, which is a few simple, quick, quick, quick tips without getting into too much detail on this. So what your so your mind does what it thinks you want it to do and is wired to move you toward pleasure and away from pain ironically the programs that we've built are going to move you toward pain first and that's why i say it's a very unconventional way of healing and the tips and the tricks that's a very extensive thing because it has to be it has to be done the right way otherwise you can go sideways on it because our natural state is for us to move toward pleasure over pain and it's why so many times we avoid dealing with the real core issues to get to who we really are because why we're wanting to avoid pain that's okay too we'll work on that but just understand that that's an existing thing that's the reality of things and that's how we kind of trick our mind a lot of the times the way you feel about any situation is linked to only two things the pictures in your mind the pictures in your mind and the words you say to yourself. That's why we're all so different, right? In a group setting or different things, like our interpretation of a scenario, a situation, you have a group of people can all be interpreted in a different way depending on what they've been through and the pictures in their minds and then their own self-talk. So understand those are so connected. The pictures in our minds and the words we say to ourselves and how important that is. Your mind loves and wants to return to what is familiar. To achieve success, you must work at making the familiar unfamiliar and the unfamiliar familiar. So it kind of goes back to our comfort zones. So it's natural, right? Because if we're not, if our our brains, our brains and who we are, we want to move toward pleasure and away from pain. But it that that goes goes back to our comfort zones where is our comfort zones for myself i didn't realize the irony of that was because i had such a low self-worth my comfort zone was really self-sabotage and beating myself up that was more familiar so that's where i had i noticed i would go up and down up and down you do something you feel guilty you do something that was my pattern so i had to recognize that and that had to do with the pictures in my mind the things i was thinking and my self-talk So I had to learn how to correct that to think myself happy. What was happiness? What was I defining happiness as? I was realizing because I lacked so much love. I was constantly feeling I was giving love. But if that was being misinterpreted or misunderstood or people weren't understanding my intentions, well, then at the end of the day, I'm feeling bad if those people don't react or appreciate me the way I was expecting. That's not fair either on me. So as a people pleaser... I'm doing it for the right reasons, the right intentions, good, good, good heart. But if that interpret, if my self talk isn't there, or I'm not strong enough to cut off and, and set boundaries. Well, that that can lead to potential problems. So it's a way to take responsibility for it. So it's flipping it around. So what makes you happy? You have to kind of identify and understand yourself, but understand the components of the mind and how to make yourself happy. So that's just a simple tip to be aware of today what's going on in your mind.